Well, I'm really happy to say that Cornerstone is going to have church services on May 10th. We're going to have three services, and we want to make sure that you know that in far enough in advance so that you can make some plans to make a reservation and attend. Yeah, I did say reservation, and I'll get into that in a second. I'm very happy that Governor Holcomb recognized that absolutely the church does have a constitutional right to meet, and in addition to that, uh, the Constitution says that we have a God-given right. So we are going to be meeting, and I want to get my list out here so that I can make sure I give you the, uh, the information that you want and need, and also so that uh, we'll, we'll be able to post this online. So we are going to be meeting on May 10th. Our times that we'll be meeting are 8, 9, 30, and 11. We're only going to allow 50 people in our building at a time, 50 worshipers at each service, each one of those three services. The online sermon and communion and Sunday school lessons and children's activities will be online just as they have been these last few weeks. Now it used to be that all you had to worry about when you went to church was bring your Bible and your device to have your Bible on there but now you need a mask and if you don't have one we will provide one. We have some of the people in our church that have been making masks and so uh, when you come on the 10th if you make your reservation for whatever service you want to attend, uh, you will be required to wear a mask. So bring your own. And then, of course, hand sanitizer. We will have hand sanitizer on the premises that we'll ask people to use. But uh, if you have your own, that's great, too. Uh, so there will be hand sanitizing stations. And we are going to take your temperature. And that's not a big deal. Before all this craziness started, I had my temperature taken at... A nursing home that I was visiting and all they did was they scanned my forehead and I was fine so you know that's that's gonna happen and that's not something to be afraid of but we don't want to have anybody in our services that is running a temperature no child care so families will be worshiping together in the auditorium sitting together as a family so if your kids can't handle that then you might be better off staying at home and watching the online things so uh, the offering will be on your way out. The communion will be in those little self-contained things that we've used at Easter before, where you come in and you'll get one of those and then you'll partake when the time is appropriate. So communion on your way in, offering on your way out, no contact, so no handshakes. And I'll tell you, that'll be hard because I was out doing some shopping. I had my face mask on. I saw somebody from church and just like I, I'm not a big hugger, but I wanted to hug that person. And uh, I know there's going to be that tendency, but we can't do it. We can't take the risk. So uh, no contact, no handshakes, maintain distances. When we sit in the auditorium, there will be no Sunday program to look at. We'll make the, the announcements online. And, you know, even though this is somewhat of a sacrifice, we have to keep in mind that we've got to, keep the distance. So there'll be at least three seats between you and the next person, unless of course it's somebody you came with that you're with all the time, then you can sit together. But three seats in between you and the, the next person, uh, and then alternating rows. So we won't be sitting row after row, we'll skip a row in our seating for that day, and probably ongoing. Now we're starting out with 50. It may increase as time goes by, but at least for this Sunday, we're going to go with 50. Now, since there is no child care, uh, keep in mind that if your child cannot wear a face mask, won't leave it on, then you probably need to stay at home and go ahead and do the online things. And there's no shame in doing that. And uh, we just all have to do the best we can in these kind of crazy times that we're living in. Now, there will be some entrance and exit information. So when you pull into the parking lot, uh, go ahead and, and park, but we're probably going to try to run people into the building uh, using certain doors and then having people exit from the building using other doors so that we make sure that we maintain that distance. Now, we are going to send an email out with all this information in it, and we're going to put it on our website. And I know this is weird, but it's going to be great to get together. At least 50 at a time, uh, it's going to be fantastic. And we're going to keep doing the best we can. And we're going to modify as time goes by. But at least for now, this is the way we're going to do it. 
Uh, it's going to be a learning experience. We will keep posting information on Facebook, on our website. We'll send out emails. If you're not on our email list, then make sure the church office has your email. To make a reservation for services, you can call the church office or you can use Planning Center. But make sure that you're in church this Sunday online and next Sunday, May 10th, Mother's Day. Uh, for those of you who make a reservation, we're going to be in the building and then we're going to be online as well. We're going to do both for a while. So God bless you and we'll see you soon.